What's up, bro? Ready to bro. Let's go. Let's go to work. Cause I'm tripping. Gotta work on myself. Cause I'm falling apart. Please wake me up. Cause I'm slipping. Can't fight this feeling off. No more. But I'm not. What is up, guys? Good morning. About to head over to Huntington Beach Harley Davidson and get my 15,000 mile service as well as change my front tire. Um, I changed my back tire at 10,000 miles, so this one's still good, but my front tire is pretty much worn out and I got a big trip coming up. All right, it is like a perfect day to go on a ride right now. Really excited to get some front tires. This is gonna be my first time changing them in 15,000 miles. And I've been noticing in the canyons that they, um, I'm not getting as much grip. I could feel them slipping away. At the end of March, I got a nice little road trip coming up. Okay, keep me posted. I'll see you, bro. My buddy Garrett just called me and he's gonna meet me at the dealership. He has a really sick, classic car. I recently rode my friend's lowrider and he has stage two and cams in, installed and um, his motorcycle feels really nice. We took it up to Azusa Canyon the other day you let me rip it out there for a little bit. I should go ahead and show you the footage real quick. This is ridiculous. Damn, Mark, I see you. Okay. So many things I could still do to my lowrider. Definitely want to work on my suspension, you know, get the stage two, uh, two into one exhaust. I have all those things planned, but I'm also patient and just wait for the right time and do a lot of research on the type of setup I should get. But, you know, right now I'm just enjoying taking this out for rides. We've got another biker friend over here. Is that a Grom? <laughs> when you're riding in traffic and there's one lane going slow and one lane moving fast, you gotta watch out for these cars wanting to jump in on you. So, I'm always hovering the brakes, waiting for that one person to mess up. So I've been riding this low rider for a little bit over a year now and we're at 15,000 miles. I haven't had any issues with the motorcycle. It's been absolutely amazing. I love riding this motorcycle. It's perfect. The way I have it set up, it's very comfortable. The only other motorcycle I'm really interested in right now is the Pan America. I was reading an article earlier this week about how coronavirus and this whole pandemic has affected traveling and a lot of people are using that travel money to put into their toys. I've also seen some statistics that motorcycle sales have gone up since the pandemic. You know, having a motorcycle at a time like this is awesome because like no matter where you go, everything feels like an adventure. My voice is like uh... <laughs> All right, guys, we've arrived to Huntington Beach, Harley. Get this baby serviced. It's a good ride. What's up, Tim? Ready What's up, bro? Ready to bro. Let's go. Let's go to work. Cause I'm tripping. Gotta work on myself. Uh, 1973 Lincoln Mark IV. Oh, yeah, the <laughs> people before me who own this, they say that they suspected it was owned by Danny Green because they had a lot of receipts of like the Teamsters uh, labor union and stuff in the yeah. trunk and a lot of stuff that the mob was involved in back in the 70s. Man. And then, you know, it was painted green and all those cars were known to be painted green. You got a name for this car? Uh, I, yeah, 
Yeah, its name is uh, Gianna, actually. Santa Cruz, though. Oh, my favorite place on Earth. Man. Favorite place on Earth? Favorite place on Earth. What, what's dope about Santa Cruz? Well, it's just like, it's the most beautiful place I've ever been to, that's for sure. There's just so much to discover there. So unique. I think a lot of the reasons why it's so unique and has such unique vibes is because they really like resist commercialism there. And like everything is like kind of like local. Yeah, there's a lot of commercialism in Orange County. So when you say commercialism, you're talking like, like, like these uh, chain restaurants yeah. and things like that. Like chain businesses. Chain yeah. business. Yeah. I feel like chain businesses are, make things really convenient. Because, I mean, honestly, I don't know. To me, in Santa Cruz, it was the opposite. It was like the local businesses would make the, com the commercial chains run out of business. And I think, you know, in Santa Cruz, it's unique because a lot of people are loyal to, like, local businesses. But I think that local businesses also have an edge of making more quality products. Right. Because chains have to cut corners to, you know, That's true. be able to mass produce. I didn't know the pain, the hurt. I let it go. Let it go. All right, bro. Hey, Have man. a good one. Great seeing you. Too. You too, brother. Drive safe, yo. Brand new tire, this feels good. Woo! Oh man. Been waiting here all day guys, but it was worth it. Got some brand new tires on the, the low rider. Feeling good. It was a nice day though, out here in Huntington Beach. Got to chill with my friend Garrett. Brad, he came and swooped me up for a bit. Cause, uh, man, it was a long day. But now my lowrider is ready for the long road trip. And, uh, yeah, I ended up getting a new back tire as well. I was like, yeah, might as well. It was, uh, on its way out. Oh, these tires feel so good. And I also got my 15,000 mile service because we're almost at 16,000 miles now. Hey, but I've met some really cool people today. Um, that's a, one cool thing about, you know, just hanging out with your motorcycle and hanging out at a dealership where there's other riders. Like, you get to know some really cool people. And, uh, you know, some interactions are just priceless. And um, I'm glad I came out today. All right, guys. Trying to hit the freeway. Oh, these tires are so nice. But yeah, man, I had some really good, like, eye-opening conversations today with some random people I met. So that's what's cool about riding a motorcycle, man. Um, you instantly get a cool connection with other riders. But yeah, guys, it's a solid day. This beautiful sunset. I'm just gonna enjoy this. But until next time, ride safe, guys. Peace. Damn, perfect sunset.